Hello everyone, my name is John Dalrymple. I'm the Electronics Training Manager here at Allegion. And in today's video, we're going to actually issue some credentials for some users. In previous videos, we've, uh, we've, we've configured our devices, we have uh, set up groups and things like that, but now we actually need to get some users into our system. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. So we'll log into the software choose our tenant. We can choose it here from the drop-down. Go to our users. Now I've got a couple users in here now because I've obviously been doing some testing and things as we go along, but we need to add a new user. The first user we're going to add is uh, Sam Green. So we're going to go over here to the add, create a user. And we're going to add Sam green okay go to the next we're going to put sam in our user group and uh, he's a he works for us in a sales capacity so we'll put him in the sales user group click next we want to issue him a credential it's going to be a badge now remember <clears throat> earlier uh, when we were talking about using uh, the engage products and the and the RC reader controller, we had to know some information about our credentials. So I have a box here. I bought some access credentials and my access credential box tells me what the part number is, but it also tells me what uh, the card format is and the facility code. Those are both pieces of information that we needed to have in order to be successful um, using these access cards with our system. So the credential format here is 37X. So we'll scroll down here to 37X. <clears throat> and we have a choice. We can either enroll the credential manually or we can use a reader controller, something that's, that's connected all the time to our system to enroll by presentation. So we'll go ahead and enroll manually this first time. And so you see I need to put in the facility code and it's 2197. Just confirm that. Yep, that's what's on my box. And then I need to pick a access card out of the box. Here's one here. And the badge ID is 1013. Okay. And then I get to choose some, I, if I want to, I can give some special properties. Now, if I don't choose anything here, what's going to happen is when I present this credential to a reader, it's going to unlock the door and then the door will be unlocked for whatever its time duration is set to be and then it'll relock. Some of the special properties that I might choose from are a master credential and a master credential is a card that will operate every um, reader in our system, every lock in our system. I can have a um, credential that will toggle unlock a door. That is when the first time I present a credential, it'll unlock the door and then it'll stay unlocked until I represent that credential and it'll toggle the door back to locked or the reader back to locked. I can put a limit on how many times the credential can be used. I can put a time limit on the access credential itself, when it starts, when it ends, and the, the so this, this over here is date, this over here is time, what time of day it starts and what time of day it ends. Um, and that's just when the credential is going to expire. Um, doesn't have anything to do with the, with the access rights that are assigned to the individual or the weekly rule or the schedule that's been assigned to them. And then the last thing is I could force check in. So I'm not going to use that. And a force check in just says that when that credential is presented, um, it's, it's going to create a force message in something. So I've just added the credential. We're all done there. I can tap next. And there you see it in the screen. And it's Sam Green. And so we'll go ahead and create the credential. All right. So we've added Sam Green. He's got a credential. If I wanted to double check and just see where I put Sam, where the credentials were used, I could manage the user group here. And here I see that I've got him in the sales user group here. And if I wanted to put him in more groups, of course, I could do that here too. Anyway, so 
that all appears to be correct. And so we've got an access credential here for Sam. And I'm going to put that on my desk and put a label on it that says that's his credential. Okay. All right. Well, let's add another user. This time we're going to enroll uh, by presentation. So we're going to create a user. This user that we're going to create is going to be um, Janice Wilson. If I can type. There's Janice Wilson. Janice is our sales manager, so we're going to put her in the group sales as well. And we need to issue her a credential. So the credential type, again, we choose what it is. Um, then we have to choose a credential format. We know that we're using 37X, so we'll scroll down here, find 37X in our list. Okay. And we're going to enroll by presentation. Now I have to choose, well, where's my enrollment reader? Well, it's going to be our sales entry door. We're going to use that. Same special properties, but here again, I'm not going to apply any. But I'm going to now take a credential, walk over to the sales entry door. Of course, I got a denied entry there, but if I tap on read here, you'll see that that last credential that was read is populated. 1011, yes, that matches up with what this card says. And so we can say next and create. All right. I'm going to add a third user. And this third user is going to be uh, a guy named Tom Jeffries. So we'll add this user, create user. Tom Jeffries. Okay. <clears throat> Tom is uh, works in service. He works out there in the service space, so that's where he belongs. Say next. And we go ahead and give him a credential. We'll use a badge again. Credential format remains 37x because that's that's what I bought. <clears throat> I'm going to enroll manually. Remember, we need to know the facility code. Okay, and the badge ID is 1018. Okay. Go ahead and create that. All right, well, through the process of uh, adding users, issuing credentials to people, um, we have changed now who has access to a particular door, uh, and, and that's true on both of them. Our online locks, we can sync them by going to the compile here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to compile everything that's in the software and send it out there to our reader controller. And so now I know that if when I go to that off that uh, online device, the reader controller, the access rights for these new users will have been um, installed on the reader controller and they'll work. But I have an offline lock too. And if we were to think about how our offline lock gets updated, it, um, sometime, well, tonight at 2 a.m., remember we, we set that up, earlier, that lock is going to make a Wi-Fi call and it'll get its configuration changes. But I don't really want to wait, so I'm going to actually going to connect to that lock right now using my Engage app and instruct it to get an update from the server. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll do, uh, we'll do that here on our Engage app as well. So we're going to log into the app. And we're going to choose our site. Once we've connected to the site, we'll choose the lock that we want to update. Look over at my lock. It says it's connecting to the device. And yes, the red light is starting to blink 
on my lock, so I am connecting to that device. Tap Settings. Tap Update from Server. And it initiates that, and so the lock starts, its LED flashes yellow now, indicating that its Wi-Fi chip is working. Uh, the app says the update from server has been initiated. We'll just give it here a few moments. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of changes, but some minor changes here. And then I get a message update from server was successful. So I can log out of the app, disconnect from my lock. We're all done. All right. So we've covered the compile with the offline locks. That, that actually updates everything in them. Um, with, with online locks, the update is done through the compile process. Um, the compile process also updates the server software that the offline lock goes to connect to. And so I had to tell the lock to update right now. So that's what we did. And now our system is fully up to speed. The new credentials will work in the locks and we're all done. All right. Well, thank you for joining today. We've added three users. We've demonstrated how to add users by enrolling the credential manually. And we've also showed how to add a user by enrolling their credential um, using a reader controller that's connected to the access control system. Well, thank you guys very much for joining today. I hope you find this helpful. Again, if you have any further questions or you need any assistance, reach out to us at uh, us.allegion.com is the, our website or allegion.com forward slash us. Either one of those will work. Or you can certainly reach out to us on our technical support phone line at 877-671-7011. Thanks for joining. See you later.